praise the Lord, praise God, praise the most high God, high God. <laughs> Just sitting here chilling before I pull off and go grab a bite to eat. I'm gonna cook dinner tonight morning. Definitely gonna cook dinner, so it's not gonna grab me some fish or something. Fish, I'm craving fish, so. You know, well, you probably don't know. I don't either, I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I pray I, that the most high God use me. You know, um, one cannot keep giving their heart and mind access to a, a person, person denoting male or female, husband or wife, um, fiance, uh, whatever the case may be, ex fiance. You can be with a person or not with the person. You can't keep giving your heart and mind or allowing a person access to your heart and mind to hurt you. I'm not advocating breaking up or leaving or separating, but I am advocating you got to get out of this. You got to get out of that to constantly and continually um, subject and uh, your mind and heart to abuse, verbal abuse. Abuse to me is a combination of two words, um, abnormal and use, to subject your mind and heart to abuse to someone who's not going to treat you right, someone who's not going to talk to you right, speak to you right, uh, someone who says F you before they say I love you. You cannot keep subjecting your heart and mind to a person, not a place or thing, but a person, an individual, individuals, but a person, male or female, husband or wife, ex-husband, ex-wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, neighbor, manager, supervisor, leader, whatever the case may be, you cannot continually subject yourself or allow this person to mistreat you and to call you everything, to treat you any kind of way, to demise, to deject, to subject, to object, whatever the case may be, as I leave this alone. I find it amazing how people keep giving themselves their attention span, their physical, their verbal, their moral, their mental, their financial, their prayerful, their faithful. They keep giving themselves or giving uh, someone access to them to hurt them. Why is it that we give the evil one, the evil person, the one we know that has hurt us time and time again and don't seem like they're going to stop it anytime soon? Why is it we keep giving ourselves, not me, and I pray not you, to the same person to hurt us? to wound us, to injure us. Why not give the godly man, the godly woman, the good man, the good woman, the good person, the godly person, an uh, opportunity, a chance. You know, my grandmother had a, a, a deep sense of humor. My mom would speak forgiveness. My dad would speak forgiveness and leaving a person alone. But my grandmother used to say, the best way to get over somebody <laughs> is get under someone else. And my mom would say, mama! And my grandmother would laugh. I'm not advocating that either, but we have to stop subjecting and giving our mind and hearts and psyche and emotional and mental states over to people. Not places or things, but mostly people or person or relationship, friendship, battleship, leadership, partnership. We have to stop giving ourselves over to people, giving them access and subjecting ourselves to pain and unmet needs and, 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 and unresolved issues and past pains. The Bible says it lifts out the weight of sin. How much does the person weigh? That's subjecting, objecting, dejecting, depressing, oppressing. How much does a person weigh? <laughs> not talking about an object, not talking about a cause, not talking about a, a vice or, or an addiction. It says lay aside the weight of sin. How much do you weigh? How much does a person weigh that keeps hurting you and subjecting you continually and constantly to evil treatment, mistreatment, neglect? Not a touch, not a kiss. Grandma kiss in the morning, a granddaddy kiss at night. How much longer will you subject yourself to this weight? How much does your sin weigh? How much does a person weigh that's hurting you and, and, and ne neglecting you and, 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 and bond storming you and, and round robbing you with emotional and domestic violence prone episodes? I don't know what you're going through, but I know you're going through something. You're either in a valley, you're coming out of a valley, or you're on your way in. Or you've been through a valley. As I leave this speak, we cannot continue, continually and constantly subject ourselves, allow people access to our hard minds to hurt us. And then when somebody come along, they want to treat us right. That actually shows a genuine interest, love, and maybe may your twin flame, maybe your soulmate. And you be so suspicious of them, or you're so angry and hardened from the battle you're in, or, or being constantly or continually in, you won't give that person a chance. Stop giving people access to your mind and heart, to your emotional and mental state to hurt you. And when they're done with you, they wipe their mouth with you and throw you away, and you're no good for nobody else. Just stop giving people access. Stop giving people access to constantly and continually hurt you. The same person, time and time and time again. The same person doing the same thing and show no signs of changing. Let them be. Let them go. 
Peace. One.